Welcome to Trucking with Fitz. Today we're going to, uh, well, you have to stay tuned to find out if we hold our Schneider trailer for ransom. Stay tuned for some trucking. Good morning. Welcome to Cedar Rapids. We are currently sitting in a Schneider drop yard. Take a look, see. pretty close to ADM over there. Um, I've been here for an hour, almost an hour. Um, I have been trying to get in contact with the broker because they didn't even tell me that this is the drop yard they wanted me to drop it at. They just told me, uh, you're gonna drop it in a drop yard in Cedar Rapids and I'll get you some more money. Well, he never sent me anything confirming that he was gonna get me more money. He never sent me anything as to where the drop yard was. I just happened to know where the drop yard is. So I haven't decided how long I'm gonna wait, but I don't really want to deadhead all the way back to the house. I guess it's not that far. But the, then, I, well, then once I get to the house, I gotta hook onto my trailer and then deadhead somewhere else. Cause I don't think Menards has anything for me again. Uh, one of you guys suggested talking to Shell Rock. Well, I'm probably gonna end up doing that this morning. I just, I don't know, dragging my feet. A little bit. I'm not gonna wait much longer. We're chilling in here, parked in a good spot. But at the same time, I guess if I needed to, I could take the trailer out again and hold it for hot ransom, <laughs> make him give me more money, right? Maybe I could do that. Uh, maybe that'll be the title of this video. Should I hold this trailer ransom? I don't know. This broker is very, very uncommunicative. When I try to call him, it takes... Man. Yesterday when he emailed me and said, cancel the load, I called him... How many times? I called him nine times in a row. Like, I'm not... I'm not leaving a voicemail. He is going to answer me. After not, nine times, he finally answered his phone. So I don't really understand. I don't know if he's just that important that he can't answer the phone. Schneider, again, has not left a good taste in my mouth, if you're wondering. <laughs> in other news, it's very cold outside, but it's nice and toasty in the truck right now. So there's that. How about... Uh, slightly elevated idle right now. Temps nicely up there. Where am I sitting? Let's see if you can see. It's not raised that much. I just wanted to get <clears throat> a little extra heat in the engine. Probably going to go disconnect pretty soon here. But anyway, I'll let you guys go. We'll We'll update you later.
events, guys. <laughs> I go I went ahead and called Ian just to check. I was going to see if he had any way of checking on uh, Shell Rock. He did, which they don't have anything either. Um, but he did have something I could do. So we're going to go run that is what we're going to do. I think we're going to go to Des Moines is what we're going to do. So. Good boy. Down here by ADM, you got a lot of nice trucks. Let you watch this guy go by. Oh, he's turning. Of course he is. I've seen this truck on the road. Pretty nice one. I could go right now. I think I'm going to. See ya. Familiar sight. Feels good. Although I'm probably only going to get one in today. They are getting more cars tonight. Rail cars. It is an awkward load, so I'm going to have to check it a couple times. Um, but yeah, like I say, it's going, to, it's going to Des Moines. My guess is this is the only one I will get in today. Because uh, they just don't have a lot. More coming tomorrow. It would really be awesome if, you, if I could grab something I could deliver in the morning. Meaning, I can come in early in the morning and grab it. Um, instead of having to wait until 7. But, I don't think that's going to be the case. For now, let's get this thing weighed. See if we can get out of here. No idea what it's gonna weigh. I'm out of rhythm. Only seven on it. Yeah, it must not be very heavy. The trailer's probably gonna be heavier. 34, 480. Oh, I should get this, the total. 72, 300. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. I'll take it. I mean, I'll take anything, but. <laughs> Do you need to get fuel? I haven't. I'll probably get it at the S way here in town. On the way out. Sort of nervous to find out what I got fuel economy wise over the last day. Probably not great pulling that box. All right, let's grab our paperwork. Okay, we are to our normal load checking spot. Got a couple cars I'm gonna let go by here before I get out. One more here. And that I'm concerned about are connected to these ones. Oh, that's loose. That's not. That's good. Good. Let's put this down another click or two. This is, this is not as important because it's belly wrap. Let's do two. As long as this one doesn't come loose. Let's just feel this one out and see if it's bad. Nope, I don't want to go any tighter. This one? That's good. 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 Perfect. Awesome. Wow. All right. We're done. Let's get out of here. Des Moines bound.
I think it's been a while since I've been down to Des Moines here. <clears throat> to this store. <clears throat> not really my favorite store, so I'm not sad. I mean, it's not my least favorite store. It's just not. I wouldn't pick it. Let's see what kind of zoo we get into today. I don't think it should be too bad. It's 11.15 right now. They've made this really fun to get out of. I made the turn on the way in, so I can make the turn on, on the way out, right? Take it as wide as possible. We'll make it on the way out too. Just barely. That's not fun. I I couldn't have come out there, so. <laughs> ah! Oh, people do not think. They don't use their brains about trucks. Make me go your, around you, okay. That's that's great. Instead of just waiting. Wow. People are annoying. Alright. Checking out. Well, we are done for the day. We've already dropped our trailer off in Marshalltown. I'm going home. And I'm probably going to rip into my truck. One of the guys in the comments yesterday, I don't know if he's watching today, said, you need to fix your truck. Didn't tell me why, but I have a feeling I know why. Y'all have been talking about the shake for a while. I, I know why it's shaking. In fact, I, uh, I've i been trying to limp it through the holidays, is what I've been trying to do. I was gonna, when it got really slow the first of the year, I was gonna take some time off and fix the problems. But I just didn't want to do it yet. Well, it's definitely gotten worse. And today, I noticed I, I, it's like a secondary shake going on. I'm like, I can't do this anymore. I cannot do this anymore. So this is what we're doing. I'm just going to bite the bullet. I don't know if they'll have the parts or not, but need to do a couple things at least on the driver's side I need new bushings on the, the leaf spring probably gonna do all of them all three um, that needs done um, I really should do both sides although the passenger side is not near as bad probably be fine I'm sure it's a good idea to do both so we'll see um, but after all the pulling that is done uh, well my basically those those bushings are bad and my steer tires are shot and thus the shake I'll have to show you guys what the actual wear is. Maybe I'll do that when we get home. I won't cut off the video right now. Um, see if I can show you exactly what's going on. Um, I think I can do this whole thing for not that much. The bushings really aren't that exp expensive. I mean, they're not cheap, but they're a whole lot cheaper than paying someone to do it. So that's what we're gonna do and then probably get a new set of steer tires I haven't decided what I'm gonna go with yet I will not be going with Michelin's that's not even what's on the truck right now I think they're Bridgestones if I remember off the top of my head um, I don't know what I'm gonna go with yet y'all can leave your comments down below 
what kind of steer tires I'll, I should get. Honestly, I may end up going a little cheaper out. I know some guys aren't gonna agree with that, but a lot of it will be determined by what um, steer tires are in stock. So, and I don't have a pickup right now, so I can't just put them on my truck and take them with me when I go get the, the bushings. I might be able to figure out how to get in the back of the suburban. At any rate, we're going home and we're tearing her apart. I need to, uh, I'm not going to do too much today. I'm probably going to go hunting, but I need to go into town and I need to get refills on my oxygen and acetylene. Because the more and more I work on a semi-truck, especially an older, older semi-truck, the more I have found that it doesn't really matter what you're doing. You're going to need some heat, significant heat at some point. That's just the, the name of the game. And the yellow bottle don't, by itself, don't work. You need oxygen acetylene. I guess propane is, oxygen would probably work too. But that's not what I'm set, set up with. Maybe I should get up, set up with that. I'm just going to go ahead and catch you guys when I get back to the house and uh, see if I can show you what's going on. I mean, that's going on. As a cop goes by me. Put the camera down a little farther. I mean, you can see that. Obviously, it gets worse as I go faster. Like when I get up to 65 here. Woo! Yeah. Catch you in a second. We're back at the house now. I'm trying to show you guys what I'm talking about with these tires. I don't even know if you could tell. I didn't stop at a good spot. Um, yeah, where is that? So I can feel it right there. Well, you could tell there's a dip right there. Whoop, dip. And this edge is worn more than this edge on this side. There's a number of spots where there's dips. I wish I had stopped at a better place. Um, see if I can see in this side. So this side, the more weird edge is actually on the outside tells me about that pulling but there's actually a spot on this tire also that was <clears throat> now this is the not oh there it is can we tell no we can't tell oh, so hard to tell on the camera perfect edge perfect edge and then it dips right in here it's not dipped the whole way around this side is dipped the whole way around telling me I sort of want to swap these but I know I know for certain that the bushings on this side are bad I'll tell you why because I can hear popping noises when I turn so I know they're bad on this side because I can hear it plus this top one does not take grease unless I get it in the perfect spot So, there's that. I'm also going to check some other points on here, but I do think that changing those things is going to solve my problem. Quite confident. <laughs> Quite confident. And, uh, I'm going to go back there because there's somebody back there. Anyway. I do need to still do the rear 
leaf spring bushings, rear axle front leaf spring bushings on the uh, drive drives. So come back over here. I don't know what else I was going to show you. The shocks have been replaced. These bushings, I believe, have been replaced. I think this whole spring has been replaced. All these points take grease. The other side does not. So I may just start with the other side. Do the other side. Um, I'll be able to tell if it solved the problem rather quickly. <sighs> so I got some work to do. Right now, I just wanted to confirm that that's what I wanted to do. Um, that is what I'm going to do. And uh, I need to call Freightliner. Give them a call and see if they got the parts. I'm confident they don't because I've actually asked them about it before. So maybe I can get a part number off of them. Anyway, I'm not going to bore you guys anymore. Like I say, I'm not going to bore you guys anymore with that stuff today. Maybe we'll make a video up specifically on that. I don't know if I will or not because I'm not. Man, I always... with. I'm hesitant to show sometimes uh, when I'm working on stuff because I'm not, I don't want to claim to say I know what I'm doing because I know I don't. I'm just figuring it out as I go, which is the case for a lot of people, but I know I'm going to get some people um, letting me do, know how I think did things wrong. Maybe I won't. Maybe I will. At this point, I'm just rambling, <laughs> trying to tell you guys, you know, how I'm feeling about this situation. Um, this will be the end of the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we didn't hold our Schneider trailer ransom, but we thought about it. <laughs> Comment down below, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate, appreciate you guys. Stay tuned for the next one.